Good morning today from the Source NY Meta Energy Studio in Poughkeepsie, New York. I'm Dr. Stacy Lamar. It is an incredibly beautiful day, Thursday, November 16th, 2023. Bringing my message to the collective today using the Orisona bottles behind me. Today's bottle I chose is bottle 116. The name of the bottle is Queen Mab. Get that spot for you. Really bright magenta on the bottom, and it's a really bright royal blue on top. Queen Mab comes from uh, the fairy realm, uh, Shakespearean. She was the queen of the fairies. She was known to be the midwife to the fairies. And being that I am a trained midwife to the humans, I love this bottle. I love the brilliance and the vibrance within the bottle, but I love the message around that whole uh, history of Queen Mab herself being the midwife to the fairies in such that she would come through dreams and manifestations and help you to make your dreams turn into visions as I understand the uh, the history of the storyline. Royal blue and magenta in the Orosoma collection being brought together in this bottle are a high vibration energy bottle with respect to um, a true appreciation that as above so below that we are one on earth with the divine the creator and that we are a manifestation of such, okay? The message today is for those that are really working on your spiritual growth and development because the magenta speaks to um, loving yourself and self-acceptance, but not the external vision of yourself, really going within and appreciating who you are at a soul level. So many of us have our, our I call them the masks that we wear in life. Uh, you know, for me, mother, employer, um, daughter, and, and such and such, right? We wear these masks externally and we have uh, an appreciation for who we are in the roles, the actors and the actresses that we are in this lifetime. But the Queen Mab in this bottle, we're talking about really doing a deep dive into me and my soul and becoming very appreciative and loving and accepting of yourself at a soul level because you are a star energy you are a soul in this human form and this bottle really represents the understanding and appreciation of such so that you can be the manifestation of all that you're supposed to be mission and purpose on earth right and it takes a lot of work to really have an honest assessment of ourselves this this is something that we don't always like to do we don't all uh, like everything about ourselves. And for women especially, self-acceptance, body image and things can really become an issue that um, haunts us. So doing a deep dive is something that a lot of us resist. I'm telling you that during this energy of the new moon right now, because right now we're in the new moon in Scorpio, the veil is very thin. And it's really a prime opportunity to do a self-assessment, to go within in your spiritual work identify all the wonderful about you and accept it more fully so that you can resonate out to the world in a, in a more full mission and purpose for yourself. Um, those of us that do spiritual work have our daily practices and we have our rituals and those things that we, we like to share. So if you have somebody that you work with, that's great. If you're looking for guidance, I can help you with the, with the modalities that I use that work for me. But certainly right now, in this new moon energy, take advantage if you are on a spiritual journey of really getting uh, closer to who you are, the soul that you are and the inner person that you are, what really makes you who you are from a soul perspective, from your divine perspective, because there is magic all around us right now. The energy is light, it is clear, the vibration, all this incredible work of the collective consciousness, everything that we've been doing to try and raise the vibration is happening right now. And in this new moon in Scorpio, there's a palpable energy of divinity and there's a palpable energy of magic. And that word magic never really sat with me uh, well for a very, very long time. I had a bad association with the word magic because of a lot of, deep, a lot of reasons, but in this lifetime, I would say that it had a negative attachment. I had a negative attachment to it because it was considered to me dark or evil based on religious experience um, as a small child. I had been able to clear that 
magic is life. Magic is energy. And magic is the manifestation of everything that we are able to bring to and receive from the source. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that word. So if you're dealing with attachments to um, religions and, and different things that have you programmed to resist this right now, I respect that. Time might not be right for you. That's fine. But in this message to the collective, the energy and the air are ripe. We are just surrounded by divinity. We are surrounded by the energy of magic, which allows us to manifest more fully everything that we want, our hopes, desires, and dreams on this planet, because we are active participants. We are not passive here. We are creating our reality. That being said, Queen Mad, bottle 116, beautiful energy today. Go within, self-acceptance. Get down to your soul level and love you and embrace you. And I'll talk to you again next week. God bless.